hi guys and welcome back to my kitchen today's video i have a very special soup this is the type of soup you make when you want to give yourself a treat or when you have an august visitor so i made this soup today because of you yes you that is watching this video sit back and continue watching As you can see from this ingredient, this is going to be a very special soup. And this soup, I made it specifically for all my subscribers to thank them for always watching and commenting and being so supportive. So here are the list of the ingredients. I have everything prepped already. I'll be using turkey, some stock fish, shaki. Gizzards, then dried fish. I washed them already and deboned them. I'll be using spinach for this soup. You can use any vegetable you like. If you're in Nigeria, you can make use of water leaf. And I'll be using dried prawn. This adds a very good taste and flavor to this soup. So I'll be using two habanero pepper, onions and red bell peppers. This will serve as the base for the soup. Using crayfish, salt, palm oil, no seasoning cubes. You can use any seasoning cubes or any seasoning powder you like and then may because of the time difference in cooking the meat and the fishes, I started with cooking the shakis and the stockfish because they are the toughest among them all. So I added some seasoning cubes, poured enough water just to cover the contents of the pots and started cooking. Next I have my blended peppers and onions mixture. I blended it coarsely because I wanted to be seeing um, little particles of it in the soup. So cook until the water dries completely. I've been cooking this shaki and the stockfish for 20 minutes in a pressure pot. Note that this might take longer time if you are not using a pressure pot. After 20 minutes of cooking the shakis and the stockfish, it became so tender. So I was trying to break it apart with my spatula. Next I added the turkeys and the gizzards, added one seasoning cube and let it cook. Notice that the water in there is not much and that is okay because we don't want too much water. This is vegetable soup, we don't want it to be too watery. But unless you like your vegetable soup to be watery, that's okay, you can go on and add in as much water as you want. While that is cooking, keep an eye on the pepper and the onions mixture to prevent it from burning. So now this is about 7 minutes I added in the turkeys and the gizzards so it became tender. I then added the dried fishes mix them together and let it cook for more 5 minutes. So now the prepping is over, our fishes and meats are ready and our pepper mixture is dried up. Now pour in some oil into a pan. We don't want to bleach this oil, just allow it to dissolve. Once it dissolves, which will take about 1 to 2 minutes, add in the pepper and the onion mixture. So 
mix them together properly allow it to simmer for like another two to three minutes then add in the dried prawns let it cook for about five minutes more After 5 minutes, add in the obeyi, the salt, the seasoning cube, some crayfish, stir everything together, add in the meats and the fishes and stir in very well add in the meat stock and stir everything together evenly cover again and let it cook for about five more minutes this is to help all the sweetness the flavors the deliciousness the aroma everything 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 to sink inside so that everything will mix up and become uniform After about 7 minutes, I added in the spinach, mixed everything together and the soup is ready. From my analytics, I was able to understand that 96% of people that watch my video are not subscribed to my channel. Chai, what I do, Una? Eh? Please, I'm just, I'm just pleading, okay? If you like what I post if you like my videos if you like my cooking videos and you watch them why not consider subscribing please just click the subscribe button okay it is very very important for my growth on YouTube can you see how rich this soup is this is delicious special soup adorable edition <laughs> You can enjoy this soup with any swallow of your choice or even with rice even though I did not make it um, specifically for rice but you can still enjoy it with white rice or with plantains or yam you can enjoy it also alone without anything on the side especially if you are watching your weights it's time to dish yours out let me know when I should stop putting Please come and carry this soup, okay? I don't want it to waste. It will be waiting for you. Should I stop? Should I add more? I'm not Madame Puts more. Should I add more? <laughs> Thank you so much for staying with me today. And remember to subscribe if you are not subscribed, okay? Thank you so much and have a nice day. Bye.